I'm totally gonna jinx myself with this video, but here we go. LG 83 inch G2. I recently did the content talking about where I've had a lot of problems with this television since I bought it last summer. It doesn't always turn on, it freezes up, it doesn't change inputs, all these pains, all these hassles and frustrations with it. And recently, I finally got a hold of the right tech support folks at LG. In short order, they dispatched a tech. They replaced a big old power board uh, in one of the upper corners uh, of the TV there. And now about, I think roughly two weeks or so later, since having the new power board, the version 1.2 power board installed, I can successfully say, happily say, that the TV is operating like it's supposed to. We've used it consistently, and I have not noted, I think, a single failure mode with the television. The family has not complained to me to say that, hey, we tried to go use the TV or try to turn stuff on, and it didn't work. What's going on? Fix it. Um, so everything is working pretty good, and I wanted to show it. I wanted to demonstrate it because I know people are still kind of struggling with this, and folks have been contacting me through the channel, through ABS Forum, in order to get some more direct link to LG support for this. So I do have a Control 4 automation system. I still have my Neo remote here. And I had tried to add into my Control 4 programming a whole bunch of stuff to like work around the failure modes of the TV. I can say that I have completely reverted all of that from the programming of my Control 4 system. And it's working fine with just the general bindings, right? The inputs mapped to the right input, the, the source devices in the Control 4 setup mapped the appropriate inputs of the LG TV and some of the other programming triggers that I have, such as if it's nighttime and you turn the TV on, the lights around the living room area and here dim or you know dim to certain levels or in some cases turn off. That wasn't working at all before. Basically, there was no indication or confirmation um, in the system at all, like when the TV turned on, like it was supposed to be giving, and all of that stuff is working like it's supposed to as well. I can say as well that in my Control 4 system, I am using version 205 of the LG driver for this television, and I'm also up to date with firmware. We'll take a look at all of that in a second, but let me show you a couple things. So I've got four, in, four sources going into this TV, Apple TV input one, Nintendo Switch input two, PC, and then a Zone 2 output from my home theater devices, Zone 2 HDMI output from my Anthem AVM70 that I use to switch the Kaleidoscape to this living room. The only thing that ever historically worked very well or even remotely reliably was turning the TV on to input one for the Apple TV. Let's do that. There you go, that quick. It worked, it's up, and no, no, no complaints. But that was that was the easy part. Sometimes that still failed quite a bit, unfortunately. But again, no problems at all right now. So let's take a look at a couple settings on the LG TV itself. If we go in here to all settings, we go to support software update, we can see I am running 03.30.16. And I think this recently just did update as at least of, of the time of recording this video, the TV applied a firmware update sometime in the last few days, but it also was working successfully after the power board change on uh, some prior firmware to the dot 16 release as well. And I know uh, some folks are gonna ask, so if I go through some of these other settings, always ready, I do have this turned on, enable this function, and I do have it turned on to use without the wallpaper. Under devices, TV management, I do have Quick Start Plus turned off. I actually was gonna say I don't have CEC turned on, but I guess this turned itself on. I am gonna turn this off. There are no CEC functions that I use between any of the sources plugged into this device and the, the television. There's no HDMI link to my audio preamp. I don't use CEC with the Apple TV. So yeah, that should have been disabled. Sometimes things turn on and off with firmware updates and resets and all that. But yeah, no CEC here. And then lastly, since I am using Control 4, I am using Control 4 with IP control. If you go to the television settings, you highlight the network option, and you quickly hit 73777 on the remote, you get the special IP control setup menu. Why the special code, who knows, should just be part of the regular menu UI. But we can note here, network IP control is on, and Wake on LAN is also turned on. 
So that's it for TV settings. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and show the, like no problem, basically here changing inputs, change to the switch, change to the PC. When I was having the troubles, the TV did really struggle with just simple stuff like this, going to other inputs and doing, basically doing the simple operations that it was supposed to do. So I'm gonna go back to Apple TV. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna turn it off and I'm gonna power it on with one of the kind of the most complex operational maneuvers I think of my whole AV system. I'm gonna turn it on via control four directly to the Kaleidoscape. So just again, the Kaleidoscape is HDMI out to the AVM70 downstairs that runs the theater. I am zone two HDMI out of the AVM70 into one of the HDMI inputs of the TV. So turning this on to the Kaleidoscape with control four essentially has to turn on the television. It has to turn on the Anthem STR for the living room for the living room audio. It has to turn on the zone two power of the AVM70. It has to switch the AVM70 to the proper Kaleidoscape input routing it to zone two. That signal has to get to the LG TV, do all of its like multi-step HDMI negotiations and the, the, and the LG TV itself needs to go to the proper input, the proper HDMI input for the Kaleidoscape. I had no hope of this working before the power board was changed. But now, Kaleidoscape, it does take in a second, this doesn't come up quite as fast, but there you go, instant power on, right to the input change, stuff is waking up, Kaleidoscape is waking up, come on, come on, HDMI syncs. There we go. Pretty cool. And so again, I've had no trouble with this. The PC, everything is working. If you are having trouble, if you are having problems with your you know, 2022 or whatever model LG television, get in touch with support. I honestly don't know what the scope of, of these failures have been. Are they specific to the G2? Are they specific to the G2 83 inch? I can tell you when the tech came to do the power board replacement, it very clearly said like 83 G2 right on the power board itself. So if you're having any trouble, contact LG, get the techs out, get the new board version 1.2 or later potentially, get all your firmware up to date, get your control four system on at least that 205 driver and you will be good to go. So sound off in the comments, let me know. Do you have one of these televisions? Were you having trouble with it? So take a look at the prior videos on the channel that'll be popping up here in a second where I go into detail and kind of basically covered the actual board replacement, what the TV looked like when it was all taken apart. Otherwise, please do all the regular YouTube stuff, like, subscribe, comment, hit that bell for notification. Look down in the description for some ways to support the channel. I would appreciate anything. Amazon affiliate links, channel memberships, super thanks is all there available and more. Thanks so much for watching. Coming back for more home theater discussion and fun.